Steven. Yeah. Are you going up to the Bunker 2.0 before the thing tonight? Probably. What time? I have a surprise, something being uh, delivered <laughs> for tonight, and I don't want you to see it when I'm not there. Uh, I was probably gonna go up at lunch. But Perfect. That's I'm fine. Not, can you not I'm go? Not can you not go after that? Yeah, I can do that. You have three guesses. I'll tell you yes or no. That's it. Is it a mechanical bolt? No. Is it? <laughs> that's a good guess. <laughs> uh, is it inflatable? No. Yeah, I'm probably not gonna get it. You'll never guess uh, it. Okay, I give up. Yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> it's gonna be the best surprise ever. A while back, we ran a little contest um, where we said you have to post a picture wearing one of our subscription shirts, and the funniest one will win a Liberty Safe. So the one that made us laugh the most was from Ignacio Hernandez, and this is him wearing our shirt and cooking muffins. And then the next picture is him serving the muffins to his pew pews and his dog while his family is all around angry they can't have them. And he said, during these hard times, cooking for those you love the most. <laughs> uh, Ignacio, you win. Uh, we're gonna send you a DM from Bunker Branding and we'll connect you with Liberty and get you your very own pew pew safe. Thanks for being hilarious. Woo! Welcome to Militia, to Off the Ranch. Uh, so Steven was trying to guess what I was getting. Uh, we have this thing tonight. We did it last year. We did kind of a lock-in at the bunker. And last year we had an RV that we were gonna go camp out on the new Bunker 2.0 lot, but then the roof wouldn't stay on the RV. It was broken. And so we were like, well, we'll just go camp under the stars, but then it was gonna rain, so we decided to go camp inside the warehouse with our broken RV. It makes less sense now that I explain it like that. So we decided after that time, and we had so much fun, that we should make it a yearly event where we have a lock-in at the bunker. And Bunker 2.0 now has running water and air conditioning. So we decided it'd be a great time to break in the new building and go have a camp out inside Bunker 2.0 with all the male employees that want to go. It's a little bit sexist, yes, but um, we all have wives and so we're like, no wives, this is boy party, no girls allowed. And we try to find fun things to do to keep us entertained while we're there. And Steven was trying to guess what fun thing I had surprising him later. So that's why he was guessing things like mechanical bull and blow up bouncy castle thing and that kind of stuff. The thing that I am getting to surprise him though actually is not really for tonight, it's for the future of Bunker Branding. I bought a used Craigslist forklift. Um, we've kind of always needed one at our warehouse, but like we never like really needed one and so we decided to never do the expense. But now that we're gonna have a bigger warehouse, I decided it's probably time. I know we would use it once a month because once a month we get some big truck with a big delivery and he doesn't have a lift gate and like we have to borrow a forklift. So once a month for sure, but I think if we had a forklift, we might use it once a week or once every day, I don't know. But I bought basically an old, like 20 year old, beat up forklift with not too high of hours. I think it has 2000 hours on it or something. And I got it from a town nearby and a truck is bringing it today to drop off at the bunker. And Steven's gonna be super pumped about it because he's been asking me if we can buy a forklift for a while and both of us can't really decide if we should or not. And I decided, I'm gonna buy that man a forklift today. So I got a, a real junky one, but the people said it should work. They said everything works fine. They've been using it in their shop. They just upgraded it. I bought it from a, a private owner. They just upgraded because they wanted a bigger one in their shop. So I think everything's good on it. And it should be delivered fairly quickly. I also have to get a few other things ready. I need to pack up my truck. And we are taking the barbecue pit up there because we want to barbecue for all the boys tonight. So I gotta figure out how to get this thing loaded in my old truck. But my old truck is also having some issues. You can see I got the Raptor's battery disconnected. When I connect it, it turns on that fan. I disconnected it because the fan, when I turned the truck off, ran for like 15 minutes. Like I thought it was just hot, so I went inside and I came back. It was still running. So something is shorting out and making that fan just run and run and run and run which will drain my battery. Should still drive me fine, I think. There's just some either relay that's messed up or some sensor that's giving a wrong reading or something that's making that fan continue to run. So I'm gonna have to get that diagnosed. He's getting huge. Gonna have to get that diagnosed soon, but I think I can still drive it around until I take it into a shop to get it fixed. Uh, I just still 
I have to unhook this anytime I stop. Totally fine. How's the bike, bro? You like it? Mm -hmm. That's a big boy bike. Speaking of big boys, this big boy is twice the size he was when we first got him. He was 12 pounds when we brought him home, and now he is 25 pounds. Yo, you're still so cute though. Okay, so I looked up on this diagram, and electric fan relay is number five, right there. One, two, three, four, five. So this one, I'm gonna pull out this relay, swap it with one of the other relays, see if the fans still turn on. Okay, so I pulled that out, the fan still turns on when I hook up power. So that is not our problem. Um, so this also says electric fan relay, so I'm gonna take this thing out, number 40, right? Electric fan relay, okay. Okay, so now we'll see. Does the fan turn on? It does not. So what I'm hoping is that means this fan relay is all we need to replace. That's not the same. Yeah. It'll still probably will work. Okay, we have another one we're gonna try. Sweet. So, this is bad. I just need to get another one of these. Easy. So a relay is basically like a switch and it's supposed to give power or cut power. This one is now messed up and always gives power. So when it's in, fan turns on. So what I can do is just carry around these and whenever I park the truck, pull it out so that it won't continue running. And that way I don't have to keep disconnecting my battery until I go to the store and just buy another one of these and I think it'll fix it. Cool, let's get to the rest of this video. Sorry. Psych, more truck stuff. Just bought a brand new thing. Um, so if this plugs in and... Dang it, it's not the right size. I just thought it would be good. Shoot, round two. This one should work as long as it fits in there and the fans don't turn on. Dang it! What the heck, man? Now I'm super confused. Not sure what to do now. I'm gonna go home, do some research, or maybe you guys will be like, hey Matt, you just need to do this. That ought to fix it. Um, Cause I don't, I don't know why that thing's still running. Maybe it was the other one. I don't know. I need to do some research. What do you guys think I should do next to fix this stupid fan that's always on? My truck's running super cool though. <laughs> it's, it's really great. I just have to unplug that thing every time I get out so that the battery doesn't die. Okay, enough truck stuff. Let's go. Let's go to the bunker. It's time to see this forklift. There she is in all her glory. All right, we're gonna get her unload off the trailer and we'll check her out. She's a beaut. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce to you the brand new Bunker Branding 2.0 forklift. I know, I know, it's amazing. This is like a 2003 heister. I don't know how to say it, but I did a little research and they're supposed to be fairly good in the forklift game. Starts right up. This one has 2,500 hours on it, which I think is not bad. Actually don't know how to do it. Oh, that's how you pick up the forks, got it. Uh, it has tilt, which is nice. How do you go up? Even higher, you just keep going. All right, we're going up. We go up. This one has, I think, a three-stage mast, I think is what it's called. So it goes up to like 14 feet tall, which is great because we need to put stuff up there every once in a while. And this thing, we'll do it. How high do you go? Check that out. Still going, okay. Holy cow. Yeah, that'll do anything we need to do. Oh, that's the end, I think. I heard a little pst. Sweet! Look what I have! <laughs> Yes! <laughs> That's so big! I love it! No weird noises. Everything works, I think, as it should. How do you move? Oh, is this, is this a parking brake? Yep. Oh, yeah, here we go. Here we go. Okay, the thing is, I want to figure out how we can hide this from Steven and surprise him. I'm going to pick up a chair. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> yep. This is perfect. One sec guys, be right back. Don't really know how to operate forklifts safely, so I, I assume you just turn it off and it's fine. I should turn it sideways so it's more dramatic. One sec, I'm gonna, I'm gonna drive it. <laughs> how cool is that? 
Yes, you know what's a good idea? Having a party in a warehouse tonight. We got a brand new forklift. This is gonna go great. Okay, he should be here any minute. People should start showing up. He's going to love it. I changed my mind. I think that the sneak attack method might be the best. So I, he'll walk right here and be like, what's, what are you being weird about, Matt? And then I'll go, <gasps> maybe, we'll see. He's here, he's freaking out thinking I'm gonna like prank him. Okay, walk out there. You go first. <laughs> All right. He thinks he's gonna get pranked. He's very nervous right now. <laughs> I don't know what you just saw, but that's not what it was. Yeah, that wasn't it. You haven't looked the right direction. I got a forklift! And I put your chair up there. A chair fit for a king, bro. I spent all day trying to get this forklift, just uh, so you know. That is awesome. That is going to be so helpful next week. Steven called me today and he was telling me we needed to rent a forklift. <laughs> he was like, we really need to rent. I was like, Ooh, I, I bought one. It hasn't, oh, it hasn't got here yet. Sick wrap on this. I know, we do because the it looks, it looks like someone spray painted it um, twice. Like someone was like, you know what this needs? Neon blue and silver. Oh, Don't speaking of this. neon. He used to have an SRT4 that was that electric blue color. Right. It's perfect. Some white racing stripes or Grand Sport. What, what should we do? Like, we need to wrap this thing crazy. I don't know. It looks pretty good. It actually is pretty nice. It's like, <laughs> and it's a big one. It goes high. It's also almost out of fuel. It's liquid propane, so we can run it indoors, I think. I think that means it's okay to run yeah. inside. And we would do it sparingly. We're not gonna really use it a ton, but like, since we have one, how often do you think we'll actually need a forklift? Once a week? We'll use it. I think you're wrong. I think we're gonna use it more than <laughs> twice, you think. Twice a month. Twice a month. I mean, I've had deliveries here. We've had to borrow forklifts forever. And now we have a bigger warehouse. We're gonna to wanna to put things up top on shelves. I think we're gonna need a lot. Oh, nice. Party time. Lots of Sprites and apple juices. Also, I haven't showed you our new cubicles. Uh, these are the ones we bought for $26 on the auction. We actually still have a bunch left in the warehouse that we haven't assembled yet. We may actually try to squeeze that center island over to get another one. I don't really know, but anyway, this is the new cubicles. They're nice because they're pretty open. They're not, you're not enclosed in them. And Meredith doesn't like the, the tan. It's, the, that's like a fabric um, around the side. So Meredith doesn't like the tan, probably reupholster those in black or something, make it look a little more modern, especially kind of go with, with this place, which is all black and cool looking. So that's, that's in the works. So the warehouse is air conditioned. We have an air conditioner there and there, and there's another one in that room. Um, and then we have these fans to kind of blow air around, but they're blowing too hard right now. So the little strings up there, the strings are how you adjust the speed of the fans. The switch actually turns them on here. But they're, they're about nine feet up. I wish we just had something, some way to get someone up there to pull the string. Perfect. All right, I got you. already <laughs> so much for your clean floor Steven <laughs> okay I'm the king oh we're going up this is a bad idea we don't have to go up it's fine <laughs> no hey guys take him to the top peasants okay let's party <laughs>
So, the night has come to an end. Uh, it's 3.30 in the morning right now. Uh, bunker lock-in, big success. <laughs> the cash you saw was because we decided to just bring a bunch of ones and make bets on everything. So like everything was a bet. Whether we're gonna make a shot in beer pong, whether we're gonna make a shot in basketball, everything. Uh, this is Meredith's office. It's very nice. I'm gonna make a bed right here and go to bed. 334. Uh, yeah, it's pretty late. I don't normally stay up this late, but special night. Thank you guys for watching the Off the Ranch episode of the Bunker Lock. I love you. I'll see you next time. Hey, what camera is that? Number. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell Mayor! <laughs>